Friends, welcome back. I have good news. I have found out some undocumented things in Eichmann Go. Now, to be clear, these are documented somewhere. It's just, I don't think it's fully public yet. Um, it will come out in an update when it's more stable from what I've gathered. But I want to show you, so if anyone wants to try it on their own, they definitely can. So by default, your select screen looks like this. You get your small portrait, you got your big portrait. What if I wanted to use my character's stance as the big portrait, right? If I wanted to have it here. But what I do, I'd have to go into the uh, data folder and open up the system.def with notepad. Now I scroll down to about a quarter's way down. Um, I find the big portrait section and right here it says P1 face sprite 9001 now for me to use an animation I'd have to type in anim equals and then the animation number in this case zero so now my player one is gonna be using his stand animation as his big portrait it's up here but you can see his feet so let's let's move him down a bit um, I'm just gonna guess some values. I don't really know what this location is, but I, I think it's right. Close enough. That's player one. As you can see, it changes stance as I change character. But now, what if I wanted the stance and the big portrait? What can I do? Well, while messing around with the codes and stuff, I found out that something like P1 face 2 dot sprite in this case right equals uh, 9001 uh, right so that's the regular big portrait um, I can have this sprite also display but let's say I wanted to display I forgot what the value was originally p1 face to um, offset it's the face two pretty much mirrors the face uh, codes um, I'm gonna put it so I think it was 13 and I, I forget what the first number was let's go with 100 right just for testing and now p1 face 2 scale equals 1 1 p1 face 2 facing equals 1 right so these are the whole codes I added here for the big portrait and I was so excited when I typed this out and I guessed it and I got this result it's the small portrait a big portrait which is the stance and then the another big portrait which is the actual portrait and in my eyes this is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever like guesstimated in the uh, coding and I just had to share this with people I just think it's amazing that I've you know guessed and it worked uh, the reason this is cut off is because of a window code somewhere uh, in here that's cutting it off. Something with the portraits and sizing, but basically, yeah, that's two things. Now, something additional you could do, which I didn't know, I had to search high and low for Duracellular's um, screen pack to see it. Um, this new codes call member one, and what it does is it lets you have the pictures slide in. So if you look at Kung Fu Man. He's just changing from regular to 720p Kung Fu Man, right? You can see the depixelizing going on as I change it. But he's stationary. His feet are stationary. Now, if I added these codes, uh, the member one uh, facing offset code, the slide speed and the slide distance, I can have it slightly slide in as I change characters. As you can see, he starts here and goes here. And I think this is a really nice effect. Now, to show you that in the semi-full effect, here is um, something I'm working on. Wrong button. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a small portrait, a big portrait, and a uh, big portrait too which I'm using as a move list 
it's animated it's an animation instead of a sprite so for every character I pick it changes and the commands for them change also because that's how I animated it and for what it's worth all these characters are playable and this is a project I'm working on with Ultra Fatality and if you guys haven't subscribed to him before uh, I strongly recommend it because he's doing amazing work with these characters and even though he's releasing them at a slow pace I can't wait to have this entire game posted online so everybody can enjoy it we have uh, one more character in the works right here and potentially maybe two more or one more to come afterwards no guarantee but I, I just had to share how the uh, how you can get a small portrait a big portrait and a second big portrait up there and there's a sliding thing it looks really nice like this is a nice little touch to make your game look more professional and if anybody can guess the background you get extra brownie points well that's all I wanted to show so thank you all for watching and I hope this helps <laughs>